hello wonderful people you humbly welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are visiting the Sego women poetry and art center in the Sego town so i'm actually excited to be on this trip because I will be visiting a beautiful place. I've heard about this place, but I've never been there. So growing up in Afrongo, we used to see a lot of women carrying pots and other ways on their hairs, walking from house to house, selling their ways to us. So usually these women will sell their products in butter form. They will sell the ways to you, like they will sell a pot to you in exchange for farm produce like millet, maize, and any farm produce you had that they were interested in. So I experienced butter trade uh, through these women. And today I'm excited to be in this town because I am going to see art. Yes, indigenous art by our own people. So kindly stay tuned and let's see what the Sego women have for us. Hello lovelies, welcome to Sego community. Today we are in the Sego community in the Upper East region of Ghana. Wow, looking at the walls alone, well, I won't say much. Just leave a comment in the comment section how you think this place is going to be. Just looking at the walls alone. Leave your comments please. The Sego Women Art Center was started by a Grace woman from the Sego community. And today we are privileged to have Mr. Mark Kasisi share with us how the founder started this organization. My name is Mark Kasisi, the art teacher for the center. This is so, uh, that is Sego Women Organization for Portrait and Art in short school. SOPA is a women organization founded by a woman from this community called Madam Mleni Kasisi. Madam Mleni Kasisi happened to be the first girl to be educated in this village among the seven villages. The mother was a potter. Madam Mleni Kasisi is one of those who made the constitution of Ghana in 1992. She became an excellent woman in 2008 for the whole country and she became a, a regional manager for all the Catholic schools in the Upper East region. She is an old educationist because in so many institutions. After her retirement in 1996 and the seven, she came back and mobilized a few uh, number of women as an organization because the art was dying out and this was the first sheet about 27 women and now we can be proud of it. approximately 300 women in the organization these women we have grouped them into uh, into groups some are into basket weaving some are into pottery and ceramics some are into batik tie and dye, some are into wall decoration or wall painting, and then later on we, uh, we introduce what we call the canvas painting, that is the transfer of the mural pieces from the walls into the local uh, woven materials. So far it's more than 20 years old today, and we have so many dignities who have visited here to see how the women are the presidents like Adamas. We have our main, as you see on our walls, the red or the brown color, the white or the gray, and the, the black color. Each and every of these designs have got this one mean but we still maintain what our uh, our three traditional what, colors. In those days we use the natural pigment but today uh, because of white man's paint we can now use acrylic, we can now use oil and then other paints as well.
have this uh, animal on the painting, the crocodile, that oh. is by Sylvia. We have the, the turtle of the house, which is wealth. We have fish, which is happy home. We have lizard, friendship. Our wall is being designed by me. Tricky bulls. Uh, in those days, we don't have all the core mattresses or whatever. So this is where we sleep on, and then it is also used as a, our coffin. If somebody dies, this is what we use to wrap the person to the graveyard. This is what our forefathers used to wear whenever they were going for a walk. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you to you all my subscribers. Thank you for the love and support. We are a hundred plus subscribers now. Yay! Thank you for always tuning in to watch the videos. Thank you for everything that you do for this channel. Please kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet like the videos comment and share with your family and friends akia lady day see you again in my next video bye bye